Okay, today I just wanted to redo the product tour of my uh, suitcase PC. Alright, my last video was a little bit uh, nasty due to the old camera. This one's a slight bit better, so let's let's go for this again. Alright, we're going to start with the outside. Go to the front. First thing you're going to see is the fan controller knob right over there. Then we have the power button. Over here we have the toggle mode button for the uh, the LED strip light inside. Okay, then we have the on and off button for the LED strip light. If we move on over, we've got uh, headphone and microphone jacks. Keep moving over. We've got USB 3.0, USB 2.0 jacks. Okay, come on up back over this way. I've got an HDMI output. All right, let's flip this thing up on its side. All right, that's an intake uh, set of holes for the uh, fan there. We also have one over there for breathing holes. Okay, lay it back down. Right. Let's open her up. Okay. Inside, we're going to see an exhaust fan above the hard drives. We have a 60 gig solid state drive. We have a 120 gig laptop hard drive. Uh, below that's a piece of plastic uh, that sits on top of a 120 millimeter fan to help cool those drives off. All right, we'll move up here. I believe this is a 550 watt uh, dual rail power supply, uh, which is more than enough for this machine. Okay, we move on down. We can see the controller box and the LED strip light itself. We've got a couple USB 2.0 ports up here as well. Move on over, you can see the board and the processor. All right, keep on moving. This one here is going to be a intake fan. Okay, this is an Asus 960 Strix uh, video card. Keep on moving over. We have a couple more exhaust fans. Okay, that's basically the rundown of the inside there. And up here we have the screen. Um, this is a 17.3 inch Acer display out of a laptop. Also powered by a do-it-yourself uh, controller kit for laptop LCDs. Okay, let's get this thing turned on here. Alright, look back at the bottom. See all the fans kicking on. See the light bar flash, and I can come down here and I can press the mode button a couple times, get that light to do different things. Alright, we're waiting on this boot up. Okay, and there we are. You can see it's a fully functional machine. Thanks for watching.